This is your host, Dub FFG, with the Fantasy Football GOAT Strategies. And today, we're going to continue on with our Fantasy Rising series as we talk about an up-and-coming tight end, and that is Kyle Pitts of the Atlanta Falcons. You see, in 2021, Kyle was a rookie, and he ended up with 64 catches, 1,026 yards, and one touchdown. So not quite what Kyle wanted it to be, nor the Falcons, because he was a top 10 pick. But again, he was a rookie, and he was a rookie on a bad team, a rebuilding team. And this year, he has a little bit more motivation. That would be to live up to more of the potential that's expected of him coming out of college and being a top 10 pick. But he has a QB effect. Currently, he has a vet, Marcus Mariota, who's designated as a starter, and a rookie, Desmond Ritter. Now, Ritter has the bigger arm of the two and more talented of the two. But currently, Mariota is the starter. Now, unless Ritter wins the job outright in training camp, he will probably back up Mariota for the first part of the season. But FFGS projections is that Ritter would have that job around week four or five. And if you know anything about football, that is that tight ends a rookie bailout, meaning whenever a rookie gets in trouble or he, he's uncertain of anything on the field, that tight end is his go-to guy. So in 2022, we're expecting Kyle Pitts' numbers, particularly in the touchdown department, in the red zone, to go up. So we're looking at seven touchdowns and 950 yards. The yardage may come down just a little, again, because of the uncertainty at quarterback compared to last year when he knew who the quarterback was going to be. But currently, we're projecting him to have seven touchdowns, 950 yards. So, Kyle Pitts is definitely a fantasy star rising. So, if he's available in those late rounds, pick him up. 